hi guys welcome to another vlog so i'm off to work you guys this lip um what i call it lip oil lip balm i really love it the one i'm currently wearing is from melit it's called the lip tinted lip oil it's so amazing they sent me this stuff as a gift and i've been loving it i've been using it for like weeks now so it's like almost like finished and i've not even like made any sort of content on it like i've been just i've just been enjoying it silently <laughs> but yeah this is it merit i also have like a kind of a, a minimalist face um like call it like a face uh concealer i haven't really used that one this one i tried using it and yeah i just i don't know i didn't quite figure it out you guys know i hardly like wear makeup which is like this is my vibe because i like minimal stuff um but yeah this is what i have on my lip it's so beautiful it's so cute yes anyways i'm going to work and i'll see you guys later so guys it's been five months since i got to this beautiful country and i must say that i have a lot of emotions today this is five months of me you know leaving my family my son my husband my parents my siblings my friends everything i know everything i've been used to to a country i literally knew nothing about in the sense that i had no idea what my future would be i had no idea what will you know become of me when i come here all i did was you know take the step have faith in god and just believe that you guys i'm on break it's been brutal <laughs> brutal i don't know i can't like call i don't know why they're calling my mom was calling me i'll have to call her back everything is going to turn out for my good and this is what i have to say after five months before coming to canada you know i asked questions i checked on google i watched youtube videos just to kind of familiarize myself with a country that i was coming to that I had never visited prior to you know moving here and a lot of times you just see you know beautiful things about the country you tend to see especially all those developed countries you tend to see a lot more great things about them about them being you know a place of milk and honey uh you know is a is a dream country if you want to go hey guys i'm here in school for my next class <laughs> it's crazy i'm so tired i just want to sleep but what can we do we have to study. We have to come to class. So let's go to class. We we'll look for greener pastures and you know all these things. And a lot of times, a lot of people don't you know tell you the bitter truth about living there, about living the place you know, living all the luxury you're used to, and just maybe based on like you know bad government and you know bad economy and all of that. And you think that when you come to places like this, you know things are going to you know get better like immediately. Things are just going to turn around within the twinkle of an eye, and it's not true. Even a lot of times you meet agents that will not tell you the truth they'll just tell you that oh just go to canada canada you know come here you're going to get a job you land here oh my god you're going to get a job there are so many opportunities yes there are opportunities but they don't tell you the bitter truth they don't tell you you know things that you need to know they don't tell you the painful truth of actually moving to these places even if you're a very very qualified person even if you have all the experience all the skills and everything that doesn't mean that the moment you land here you're going to land that big paying job you're going to land that office job i've spoken to a lot of you know international students a lot of immigrants not just students but immigrants that are going through lots of difficulties in getting you know proper jobs in line with what they want to do or in line with their experience a lot of people you know you see you see them doing mini just people that are so qualified people that have a lot of experience from their home countries you guys it's really chilly tonight it's about 18 degrees this evening this is like uh past eight yeah it's past eight i'm waiting for my bus i'm done working I'm going back home i have classes tomorrow i need to finish some projects some assignments um yeah i'm just waiting for my bus oh i'm so tired I'll see you guys when I get to I get inside the bus. Hopefully it comes quickly. And 
also combining working and schooling is one hell of a hassle you guys sometimes you come back home late in the night and you still have to prepare for school the next morning you still have to you know study you still have to do a lot of things that will aid in your survival in this space because one minute you are doing good the next minute you're practically broke you guys sometimes you work in 100 hours that doesn't even help and you can't even do that as a student you only have 20 hours to work and it's not enough to pay your bills and you have to you just have to find a way to cope a lot of people are one second away from losing their minds a lot of people are one second away from being homeless hey guys so it's past 12 midnight this should be like probably like half past 12 a.m it's midnight guys and i'm still awake because apparently i had like two different types of coffee this evening i first had one before i went to work this evening i had like um ice cap vanilla ice cap so the ice was crushed with vanilla and then obviously coffee inside i don't know it's it was sharp a pricey coffee that i don't even know why it was pricey maybe because it was a big cup had that a big cup of vanilla ice cap and then before i left work which was right like around 8 p.m i had like a regular nescafe good coffee yeah and it was so yummy i love coffee so much i didn't realize i loved coffee this much by this point i need to take it easy with the coffee because now i can't sleep it's so late and i can't sleep i'm the only one awake in this house and it's midnight i have classes tomorrow today it's a new day and um i have to sleep <laughs> so i'm going to try to force myself to sleep <laughs> i'm going to wear my mask and hopefully that's the work <laughs> it's crazy. I have so much energy tonight. It's late. Good night, guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow or next. Whenever you see my face again, yeah, that's next time I'll see you guys. I love you. Good night. Hi, guys. I have a group meeting today. Welcome back. I have class today. This is how I'm dressed. So before you plan to move to any country or before you make this decision of leaving your home country to any of this, you know, developed countries, US, UK, Canada, Australia, just, you know, make sure that you have enough information from right sources, not from agents that have not even crossed the shores of the country that they are, you know, that you're living in and they are telling you the things that they know you want to hear you need to hear the bitter truth you need to hear the painful truth and this should not scare you from migrating to any country of your dream you just need to be better prepared and i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something please don't forget to like share and subscribe i love you guys and i'll see you guys in my next one bye